put you guys in a difficult situation to make a prediction for this game. And three of you actually went for a draw, uh, and a 2-2 oh. draw, like we saw last oh. time out as well. Nadem Stewart oh. and Steve all going for 2-2. Craig Burley, the first to go for a Man City win. Yesterday yeah. we had two who went for a Liverpool win. But I want to come yeah. to you, Nadem, on this one. If it is a draw, a City then going to go on to win the title, and will it come down to this game? Correct. Uh, I, I just think, anyway, with with regards to this game, obviously it's huge, and it'll be the team. The team, if someone wins, they're going to be on the front foot between now and the end of the season. But the fact is, like you've still got seven other games to go, and you know some people are saying Liverpool's running hard, and I can see that because say you're coming up against a Spurs side that's in form, like I'm going to say a United side that are trying to finish in the top four. So there's no guarantee that anything's going to be done after this. And I think if you'll probably pick up that tone from the players that whoever wins, you won't see them doing cartwheels on the field because they understand that the business isn't done yet. I think if this came in maybe three, four weeks' time, then yes, you'd probably feel it's more definitive. But it's just, as I say, it's, it's, a, big, it's a big chance to get the upper hand, but there's so much more work to be done. And as you can see from some of those fixtures there, like Liverpool... <laughs> It's just, it's not, it's not over. And I think if anybody says that every, whoever's going to win is just going to win all those games, I think we're very much missing the point because this is what, one of the beauties of the Premier League. The fact is that if you're not on, at your best on any particular moment, you could lose a match. So for them, you know, this is the first game in what is going to be a very long, significant run for them between now and the end of the season if they want to achieve their goals from both sides. Stevie, you've gone for a draw, but do Liverpool yeah. need to win this one? Uh, yes. I mean, I'm looking at City's running, and, and, and I'm thinking of oh, at West Ham, tough one. If if I could choose, I would rather have City's run in than Liverpool's. Uh, so it could be the decider. Yeah, I mean, I think I think Liverpool do have to win it. I 100% agree with Nadam that one of these sides and those games that are left are going to slip up. I'm not saying there's going to be a loss, but there's going to be a slip up somewhere. Because that's just what happens. But even so, a lot of, comes a down lot of fence sitters and a lot of fence sitters in this show isn't are going for the draw, Kate. Well, the problem uh, is you can't. Uh, well, yeah. So why have you why have you gone for City? Because you're the first that I've seen since I've been on the last two days that's gone for a City win. Well, that really, I saw Stevie's email this morning and said two two, so I thought I'd go to something <laughs> different. But no, I, I'm not. I'm not convinced. To be honest with you, it's such a hard call and it could go either way. I think if you look, the last time Liverpool got a victory, in, and it, listen, this doesn't mean a lot, the last victory Liverpool had in this fixture was 2019. The last four, uh, there's been two City wins and two draws. So they've just slightly, slightly got the upper hand recently in terms of results. And that's the only, and they're at home at the Etihad. And that's the only reason I've gone for a, I said to you, why? I'm not, I'm not, I haven't convinced myself, but that's, that's the only reason. Stuart, do Liverpool need a win in this one? I know you've gone for a draw, but do they need the win? You think so, because they've got to keep that momentum going. Whoever comes out of this on top, and I would say it's on top for Man City if they get a draw, uh, they've, they've got the momentum. I think if Liverpool win, I think they go and win the title because the momentum will be with them. They've got everything to play for. It's going to be a great game, but uh, Liverpool need to win it, I think. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app and for live streaming, premium content, and of course, ESPN FC seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.